Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what should you know about your person? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go for... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Let's see. Spirit Angels and Guys, please show me what should Capricorn know about their person, please? What should Capricorn know about their person? Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, first card we have here is the Page of Swords. We also have here the Knight of Cups. And we have here the King of Pentacles. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Capricorn, I do feel like this is your energy. I feel like um, with the King of Pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, this could be a woman. But I feel like you're kind of in this energy of just being very focused on yourself, on your business, your work, your career your finances, you're just kind of in your own bubble, um, minding your own business, uh, focusing on yourself and keeping to yourself. Um, I don't feel like you're paying attention to anybody. Yeah, I don't feel like you're paying attention to anybody here. Or you could be ignoring um, somebody as well. I'll take a look at that. Actually, I want to look at that right now. Let me just clarify what's going on here. Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Pentacles energy connected to Capricorn? Clarify this King of Pentacles energy, please. All right, so we do have the Page of Wands to the Ace of Cups. Ooh. Interesting. We also have the Tower card. Yeah, it feels like you're ignoring a love offer. You're ignoring someone's attempt to, to get near you, to get close to you, to connect with you. I don't know who this person is. Yeah, Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. So um, with the Eight of Cups and the Tower card, it does look like you made the choice to walk away from a certain individual or a certain situation or person. Huh. This person is um, spying on you with the Page of Swords. They're watching you and they're spying on you. Um, and they are harnessing the energy of wanting to extend out a love offer or for some of you, that's, some, that's something that they've already done or they're thinking about doing. Let me clarify that. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Swords to the Knight of Cups. Hmm. This person is showing up as a page twice. So I'm already seeing what the issue here is. They're showing up as a page of wands and now they're sh and also they're showing up as a page of swords so and you're showing up as a king of pentacles so right off the bat there's a big age difference between the two of you um this could be like literal age or just like symbolically like like you're a lot more mature than this person is because pages are people who are very very immature and inexperienced and very fickle and unreliable and that's not an energy that you harness you harness an energy of someone who's very reliable very stable and very mature so i i don't know why you walked away with the eight of cups and the tower card here but my guess is that this person was a little bit or a lot way too immature for you 
and you just didn't have the patience for it. Hmm. What was I gonna do? Oh, okay, this one. Tell me about the Page of Swords to the Knight of Cups spirit. And this person's energy towards Capricorn. All right, so we do have the Wheel of Fortune showing up here. We also have the Six of Cups. And we also have here the Ace of Wands. What in the world? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card. And we also have the King of Cups. And look at that, we have another page. The Page of Cups. Well, I guess uh, what you should know about this person is that um, they're crazy about you. Hmm. They're crazy about you. Um, they feel like they're in love with you. Um, they're super emotionally attached to you. They're very attracted to you. They're very drawn to you. They're spying on you. They're watching you. With the Six of Cups, they feel a very intense soulmate connection with you. And this is someone who definitely wants to um, solidify a relationship here with you. They see themselves having a future with you. Strongly. They strongly see themselves having a future with you. I need to look at you. I need, uh, so that's what you need to know about your person here. Um, in their eyes, you're the only person that exists in this world. They're very focused on you and very concentrated on you. And they definitely want to manifest... Um, a happy and emotional new beginning with you. What's going on here? What am I missing? Spirit, tell me about tell me more about Capricorn, please. What are Capricorn's current feelings for this individual? That's showing up in the reading here, Spirit. Okay, uh, so we do have the Wheel of Fortune showing up. What are Capricorn's current feelings for this individual? We have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're saying no. You're rejecting it. You're saying no. What are Capricorn's current feelings for this individual here? Not anymore. So we also have the Seven of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups to the Devil to the World card. Queen of Cups to the Devil. I see. Okay. And why is the, hold on, let me just clarify that. Why is the tower to the Eight of Cups attached to Capricorn Spirit? Uh, King of Pentacles, tower, and the Eight of Cups. Let me just confirm that, please. Six of Swords, walking away. Five of Swords. Wow, four of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You're in this energy of, like, being fed up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the energy that you're in. Yep, you're, you're kind of in this energy of being fed up with this person. This person is, um, has left a bad taste in your mouth. Is this like the type of person that switches very drastically? their emotions and their energy 
Because that's what you're telling me, Capricorn. You're kind. I feel like you're telling me that this energy that they're in of being in love with you and you know wanting a future with you. I feel like you're telling me that it's it's shortly lived. It doesn't last long. It's just a temporary um, mood that they're in. But that but that's. Um, those are not their true colors. I feel like that's what you're telling me. Those are not their true colors. It's almost like this person loves you when you walk away. And when you don't walk away, they take you for granted. I feel like that's what you're telling me here. Yeah. They only love you when you walk away from them or when they feel when they feel like you're walking away or when they feel like they're losing you. Um, that's when they go into this energy uh, that I described. Hmm. So and I feel like you're fed up with the inconsistencies and the 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 constant switching up of of energies and 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 emotions that this person um is constantly like presenting to you it's like they go from one extreme to the other extreme and it's it, it's giving you whiplash yeah, i'm getting like a whiplash energy what can you tell me about the queen of cups spirit to the devil, to the world card, connected to Capricorn. I do feel like this is your energy here, Capricorn. You feel like this person's toying with your emotions or has been toying and playing with your emotions. So is this person like crazy or something? Because I feel like that's the only explanation I can derive here is that maybe they're a little bit crazy that they can just kind of switch up their personality, you know, at, at the flip of a coin. From one, from one extreme to the other extreme, you know? What's the Queen of Cups or the Devil in the World? King of Pentacles, there it is again, with the Seven of Cups, yeah. And also the Seven of Wands. I told you, you're fed up with them. Look at that. Look at that. King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands. You're fed up with this person. And the reason why you're fed up with this person is this energy right here. The Seven of Cups. You don't like it. You don't like this Seven of Cups energy. It's actually showing up twice here. With the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. This is, this is your issue. This person, um, it kind of looks like they give you mixed signals. Um, they leave you like in limbo. Um, they could have other options. They say they love you, but they don't actually, um, establish anything solid with you because you're showing up as the King of Pentacles twice. So you're someone who's all about, you know, a solid relationship, a solid commitment, stability, security. I feel like you don't want to hear I love yous. I feel like you want to see action or like you want to see proof. Um, you want to see this person actually um, taking steps towards establishing a, a rooted relationship, a stable and rooted relationship with you. So, yeah, you might feel like this person is like stringing you along and emotionally manipulating you. What's the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? Yeah, Seven of Swords. You don't trust this person. You feel like they're lying to you and deceiving you. Anything else about the Seven of Cups here? With the star card, with the two of cups. 
Yeah, some of you feel like this person is constantly has or has constantly been giving you false hope. False hope, like they make it seem like you two are going places when in reality this person has no intention of going anywhere with you. So then what is it what is this person's intentions? What, what are they doing? Spirit, what does this person want with Capricorn? What are this person's true intentions with Capricorn? What do they truly want to create and manifest with Capricorn? What are their true intentions or what have been their true intentions with Capricorn? All right, so yeah, once again, we have a page here, a page of wands. Uh, I feel like that's the issue, you know, that this person's childish. Pages represent childish energy, immature energy. Um, hmm. Tell me more about this person's intentions with Capricorn or what have their intentions been. We also have the Two of Swords. Okay. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so that's that's the issue. All right. Yeah, Ten of Wands, and here we go again with the King of Cups and the Five of Cups. Okay, so this is how people, this is how they get people. This person gets people with this King of Cups energy. Um, this feels like a lovey-dovey energy, like a love bombing energy, sweet talking energy. I feel like they make themselves like very, they make themselves look very innocent and harmless and sweet. Um, and I feel like that's how you fall for them. But then you realize that this person, they're not really a king of cups. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. This is not who they actually are. Who they actually are is a page. Which means that this person is not secure in their, in their emotions. The king of cups is someone who's emotionally secure, um, emotionally confident, um, emotionally mature. Someone who knows what they want, but that's not actually who they are. In reality, they're a page. So um, I feel like that's what you have discovered here about this person, that they don't actually... They don't actually really know what they want, you know? They're just good at making it seem like they know. But in reality, this person is very lost. They're very um, indecisive. They're very confused. They're very fickle. And like I said, I feel like you have run out of patience already with this person, which is why you're um, pushing them away here and blocking them. Which does seem to be the right decision, to be honest with you, because I don't see this person um, bringing much value into your life. Yeah, they don't bring much value, is what I'm noticing. I mean... What can I say? You, you two are showing up as a king and a queen of cups, by the way. So there is a very strong um, emotional connection here between the two of you. But that's not going to sustain a relationship for long. A relationship can't survive off of that. There has to be also teamwork um incorporated where both of you are actively putting the effort to you know physically manifest um a relationship between the two of you where both of you can build with each other and and create a life with each other but this person um they don't have a good head on their shoulders. They're not um, self-sufficient is what I'm getting. They're not very independent and self-sufficient, nor are they very stable in their own life. So they can't really build with you is what I'm getting, if that makes sense. 
and I don't really see anything improving here with this person. So it just kind of looks like being with this person would be the equivalent of like being stuck in a vicious cycle, you know? Yeah, there's a vicious cycle with this person is what I'm getting. And I feel like that's what you're liberating yourself from. Because <clears throat> I feel like you didn't see it at the, at, in the beginning, but I feel like now you're, now you're seeing the truth. You didn't see the truth in the beginning, but now you're, <clears throat> now you're waking up to, to the reality of, of, of who you're dealing with. If that makes sense. Okay, so Capricorn, that's what I have for you in this reading. I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.